Hudson Valley Foie Gras has always been open to visitors. There's a tour given, if not every day, every week. The idea is that if we remain transparent, we will have to maintain a very strict and, and well-conducted farm. If everyone could come to see the farm, they would realize that some of the myths that are out there about foie gras production are not true. Hudson Valley has been breaking ice in creation of a set of standards and principles for foie gras farming that no other farm has ever done before and brought to the farm numerous doctors specializing in anything from duck behavior to duck physiology to try to evaluate our concepts and principles for raising foie gras ducks. We have to remember that humans uh, have a different anatomy than ducks. They don't have a voice box here like we do. They don't have all of these fine bones in their throat like we do. The only thing that limits what they can swallow in the case of a duck that's swallowing fish is the width of their mouth. Another difference is that their trachea or windpipe opens in the center of their tongue. It does not open in the back of their throat like ours does. This enables them to open their mouth underwater while they're diving and swim around and catch a fish and not inhale a lot of water. That also enables them, when they're being hand fed, that their tongue is out and they can breathe right past that tube that's in their throat as long as they want. It has no gag reflex because it, ha it has no need for one. Only humans and mammals that have a windpipe that opens in their throat have a need for a gag reflex to keep them from choking. We are taking the ducks at a certain age and we are putting them in open pens with a very shallow uh, fence around them. We put them 10 ducks in a pen and then we feed them by hand, one by one, three times a day in the morning, at noon, and at night. Uh, the, there is a stainless steel funnel that we put into their beak, and the funnel goes all the way down to a space a little bit above the uh, stomach, a little bit above the gizzard, and we pour into the funnel, we pour a measured amount of feed that goes down the funnel into that particular area. Uh, the process takes about between 10 and 15 seconds, and then we take the next one. Every employee has 300 and some ducks to his responsibility and he feeds them three times a day for about three weeks until he finished them and they got to the right size and then we take them to the processing plant. Farmers care very, very much about their animals. Uh, that's that's our, our life and our livelihood. We can tell you anything but let's go and let the ducks speak for themselves. I think that one of the most difficult things about being a farmer is not the care of the animals, but the, the having to deal with the misperceptions and the bad information that is being put forward. You know, it's hard when you come out here and you know you're doing a good job, that you're being attacked and, you know, you, you go home and you're proud and then you read the newspaper the next day that uh, you're a bad guy and, and you know that you're not. It's my job and my responsibility to go out there every day and try to make it better and better and better. We are being attacked relentlessly because people think that we are hurting the animals and they would like to stop us from operation. And in order for me to make it absolutely clear, I invite everybody to come and see for themselves.